Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading for October 16th to the 22nd. This is for Taurus and Taurus Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult of cross spread. I also use astrology in my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading. Taurus, I do this because you know I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one on one rather than a general spread. Lastly, I use astrology because it brings a lot more depth Taurus. So this week, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be intensely like in a good way, like passionate, but the weekend is going to be a little like, oh, okay. So uh, let's get started. The beginning of the week, there's really no major aspects that, you know, uh, which is good because we're still, you know, you're, we're feeling the effect of that new moon solar eclipse, right? That happened in Libra. So uh, it, 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 here's what's happening. Uh, I rarely talk about moon placements. I'm going to tell you what's happening right now. First half of the week, we got the moon in Scorpio. Okay. So that's why you're going to feel very passionate. You're going to feel a lot of love. You're going to feel really passionate about your passions. There's going to be an intensity to it. Uh, and I really love that for you. Okay. Especially with it coming after this new moon solar eclipse in Libra, which is a native ruler of partnerships and relationships. Now, remember that I said moon in Scorpio for the first half of the week. Okay. Scorpio is in your seventh house your of partnerships and relationships. So that's like a big thing for y'all. It's a huge thing for y'all. But what happened with this new moon solar eclipse, it was in your uh, sixth house. So there, uh, that is everyday activities, routines. You could be getting closer with partners, relationships, whether work, career, business, whether, you know, uh, love and romance, whether it's like a new BFF. But there is a sense of like, you know, maybe there's some new projects that you're kicking off. Maybe that, yeah, I don't know, maybe you're you're starting up, uh, you're going to start decorating pumpkins now with your, you know, with, with Halloween coming up with your partner. I mean, I really love like what's happening for y'all there. I really do love what's happening for y'all. Now, what, it, what else is happening is that, uh, we do have, uh, the Kazemi. Okay, so we have the sun conjuncting Mercury. Now that's going to happen on the 19th. Now, this is really interesting. What I, uh, uh, especially for y'all, um, this is uh, the reason why this is interesting is because first, we we had sun conjunct Mercury uh, not too long ago, a few weeks ago, last month, right? And so uh, Mercury was retrograde at the time and it was in a different Part, it was it was in a different sign and so now it's on the superior side of the sun so there's going to be this huge moment of clarity that you may have on friday this uh this huge like brilliant ideas light bulb moments uh and especially because mercury is still in libra at this point it could have to do with these projects a lot of health matters could be a thing for y'all too maybe something new when it comes to health uh, some of y'all could have gotten a good uh pets did y'all get pets like new pets or thinking about it, that that may be a thing, okay? That is just FYI. Uh, but I really love this. It's like you still thinking about like that peace and justice and, you know, that you want in your life. But now here's the thing. After we have the sun conjuncting Mercury, the weekend gets a little like, uh, okay? Uh, so uh, I'm just going to let you know now. Mercury is going to square Pluto. All right. This is going to happen on the uh, 20th. And this is a very intense day. And this is a day where you just want to zip it. All right. If you got things to say and they're not nice, zip it. Okay. This is one of those days where, um, and it doesn't even and listen, I'm, I'm including nonverbal communication here too. like no eye rolling and it, but I'll just really like, you know, no, but anyways, you know, like when people like when you're, when you're talking and, and you know, your, your friend over there is like, uh, when you're finished with their story, they're like, but anyway, as if like, you know, like completely dismissing you, like you know, little things like that. Like, let's let's try to avoid those moments. But uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to downplay this. This is a very intense square, uh, especially because the day after on the 21st, the sun is now squaring Pluto. All right. Pluto is a, a planet of like power. All right. Uh, power trips. OK, you can think a lot about a lot of power trips that could happen around this time. A lot of egos at play. And I'm not going to lie. We're talking about the collective here so it could also be you it could be you or something like really affects you or you just like ah, right but it is a day where you just don't want to like 
you, you just want to be chill, all right? You want to be chill. Um, it is a day where a lot of egos could be at play around this time, all right? A lot of power struggling things. Uh, you really just don't want to poke the bear, all right? Don't poke the bear. Let the bear sleep. Let the bear sleep. The bear secretly has a frying pan, you know, curled in, in his arms. So don't, come on. You don't want to get hit by that frying pan. So it's just, uh, what's really interesting, remember how I said moon and Scorpios, we're starting off with moon and Scorpio throughout the week coming after that new moon solar eclipse in Libra. All right. So there's that intensity that your passions are heightened. Uh, emotions are heightened too for, for Tauruses. Uh, but also all this activity with Pluto, Pluto is the ruling planet for Scorpio. All right. So a big week of just power, 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 power. All right. So you see how it's going to build up into something big over the weekend. It's going to be uh, pretty intense. But here's the saving grace for you. And this is a very unusual how, how this is happening. On the same day that the sun is going to square Pluto, Venus is going to try and Jupiter amazing right so it is one of the best aspects of the week but it's happening on the same time that the sun is going to try in pluto so that's why you just want to be careful with like power trippy power struggly type of things uh because venus trining jupiter is amazing and as you know venus is your ruling planet as you know jupiter is in your sign your sign you're going to feel this you're going to feel this the most this is absolutely amazing. So this is a wonderful day to, you know, go shopping, get some like new clothes, get a spa treatment, get like a facial, do, you know, because Venus is all about beauty, right? And 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 the good things in life and love and romance and sex and 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 creativity and money, right? So uh Jupiter uh, is is all about, you know, prosperity, good luck, good fortune. So it is a day of like luck and love and you know, so it's really it is it's it's, it's 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 how it's it's how you are it's how you are how you handle these moments okay so it could be again like a power struggly power trippy weekend but you know venus training jupiter comes in it really saves the day even though venus is fallen in virgo venus is you know doesn't do well in virgo and jupiter is retrograde so we don't have the full powers of jupiter we uh, we'll still take it right we'll still take it all right so now on that same day mercury moves into scorpio so this is you know Commun Mercury is a planet of communication, right? It's the, the messenger planet. So uh, this is just being very compassionate. Remember, Scorpio has that. It's like that passion, right? That intensity when it comes to your passions. Remember, Mars is in Scorpio at this time, too. And don't forget, with Pluto being very active this weekend, but also being the ruling planet for Scorpio, with... A very powerful week, very transformative week, okay? Especially coming after that eclipse, all right? So it's going to be a big week. Uh, it's going to be a big week. It's going to be a big week. But Mercury in Scorpio, it really is. Uh, remember I remember what I said, Mercury, all about communication. So it's communicating, speaking from the heart, really being, you know, but also, like, there's this detective quality to it okay this really intense like i gotta know everything it's like really really being very intuitive really like not you know but also like not having a, any filter too could be a thing that's why you you want to avoid these power uh trippy kind of days uh so uh if you saw my october forecast i i did say it's kind of like being daniel craig and in, in in the movie knives out it's just like really just like how's everything going to play out? Like really, really getting like cerebral at this time. Um, on the 22nd, Mercury is going to try and Saturn. This is absolutely amazing. As you know, Saturn is in Pisces. It is in your 11th house, which not only rules like friends, groups you belong to, but your hopes and wishes as well. And so this is a beautiful trine. And this is a great day to like, you know, honestly, like just communicate the things that you need, have fun, be social, go travel, Go travel, all right? You could even send contracts around this time, all right? Uh, so as you can see, Pluto is at power all week. Very, very powerful, intense, a lot of passions, heightened. A lot of like new fun things happening after that eclipse as well. Uh, but the hero of the week, honestly, is Mercury, all right? Yet, as you know, uh, Mercury is at play pretty much 
all weekend long. Uh, I want you to know that Capricorn, uh, the moon does move into Capricorn over the weekend too. Uh, so that is a little bit, uh, uh, Pluto is in Capricorn. So that could raise some of that intensity, but really again, just more about like your belief system, the way that you see things could start changing. Uh, it's, it's also like travel. Travel is, could be a big thing. You could be planning a trip, thinking about taking a trip. But again, main thing, Mercury's a hero. I want you to be communicative. I want you to communicate. Don't hold things in. Uh, just uh, communicate loud and clear. Be loud and clear. All right. This is a time where, you know, I don't care if you're you're on a megaphone or if you're speaking through a can attached to a string attached to a can. It does not matter. I want you to communicate. All right, Taurus. So let's go ahead and get started. See what's going on for you, Taurus, for the week of October 16th to the 22nd. Again, this is for Taurus and Taurus rising. If you know your birth chart, feel free to read for your moon, your Venus, all those other placements. And uh, to get a little bit more uh, clarity and information um, on what's going on in your life. All right. So Taurus, let's get started. What did I say earlier? Okay. Anyway, um, I thought, uh, anyway, <laughs> this is me after uh, a long day at work. Okay. So you can see the cards. Uh, and I'm glad that you can because, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, Taurus, like I said earlier, I do a traditional cult across spread. It really does bring the best overview. If we need to pull clarifiers, we will pull clarifiers. Secondly, Taurus, look at what is going on here. Look at what is going on here. Everything that I literally just said. This, I cannot, even, this is your, okay. I'm just, I don't even, I don't even care what's in your staff. This is your best weekly reading so far, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, my dorky laugh. Anyway, let's get started. You got the lovers. You got the lovers. Uh, so when I talked about partnerships and relationships being a big deal for y'all, Taurus, it's a big deal. It's a big deal, okay? Uh, you, hey, it, it, come on, Scorpio is really intensifying that area of your chart. Uh, and remember what I said, it can be career, it can be business, it can be love, it can be romance, it could be uh, platonic, your BFF, what resonates with you in terms of partnerships and relationships, what's relevant, relevant for you right now in that area, it could also be self love, it could be you fight, you know, remember, I said all that spirituality, all that, you know, intensity that's coming from your heart, but you just got the lovers, okay? In your past, it looks like there's been a lot of movement with partnerships and relationships. You know, you've had decisions to make. You've had choices to make. A lot of y'all have definitely come into a place where it's things are good. Good for you. Good for you. I love this. Taurus, you're amazing. You're absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely happy for you. Um, ugh, come on. Come on. You're, you're good here. You're good. You see Archangel Raphael up here. Uh, he's first of all, the healer, right? Uh, he's the one who's gifting the love. All right. Now it's up to, you know, you, right. We'll call them Adam and Eve, by the way, up to you to decide what to do with it. Uh, so it looks like you've had some decisions when it comes to love. It looks like there's could have been some, uh, acceptance as well in terms of love. Uh, looking at your entire spread, it looks like a lot of y'all have, uh, are on this path where you're gonna have babies, where you're gonna have uh, like your strength, your bonds are like strengthening to like a whole other, like you're creating like family now. Okay, that's going to be a thing for for a lot of y'all. It's going to be a big thing for a lot of y'all. Like, I'm not even joking. Uh, but even still, just relationships, okay? And when I say family, it can be even like career, like uh, forming the perfect partnership with a company, CEO, etc. Those kind of things as well, okay? I really love that. And look where it's brought you. In the heart of your spread, you got the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail, the Heart of Tarot. In the heart of your spread, Okay, your tarot spread. Okay, I don't know why I had to clarify that. Um, this is it. This is it. Aces ushering that new change, new beginnings, new paths, new journeys. Cups all about love, all about feelings, all about emotions. You're good. Intuition, wonderment. Like, you're good. You're good. You see the five. 
streams overflowing. Listen, I always say this. Think about the last time something brought you so much joy, brought you to tears, okay? It could have been a proposal. It could have been you getting a dream job. Maybe you baked the cake of your dreams uh, and you did it the right way finally. You know, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever you're, you know, is emotionally impactful for you. You're going to have another one of those moments this week. It looks like you're going to things are going to be good. Something new is coming through that you're going to absolutely love. Okay. It's going to be the perfect, uh, looks like the perfect partnership actually. Um, but it is, uh, very, it's like this card is like rapturous. It's like that intense joy and pleasure. And again, blessings and healing and, uh, you're good. A lot. And again, self-love is a big thing here. Self-love is a big thing here. You're good. Oh, you're good. You're good. You did get the eight of wands. Okay. You got the eight of wands in your challenge area. So uh, just be cool. Okay. That's the message, um, especially with what's happening this weekend, all those really strong aspects. Um, it looks like there are some things that uh, are not happening fast enough you want things to happen a little bit faster for you for some of y'all you feel like things are going a little sideways and uh it may not be like completely under your control but you kind of have to just roll with it you know eclipses like i said we just came out of one and we have an eclipse in your sign next week and so you just kind of have to like roll with it right now okay that's what this is eight wands zipping through the air look at them perfectly aligned however it's in your challenge area so like i said things could feel like maybe they're going a little like out of you you know like not completely aligned right now uh but you're still gonna be you're still on this path you're still on the right course and so just don't try to force anything go go with the thing but go with the flow but the bigger message is that i think that a lot of tourists do feel like things are not happening fast enough or uh, uh, vice versa uh, like uh, some things could be moving way too fast for you and you're just like oh i gotta slow down a bit get slow down a bit okay because you have to remember um venus is very active venus is your ruling planet and venus is in virgo okay so two things about that very analytical very like self-critical so don't be uh too hard on yourself secondly venus and virgo is your fifth house of love of romance every uh, creativity self-expression like uh, you're 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 good okay you're really good venus is remember venus is gonna try in jupiter this weekend you're good. Now, you did get the two of pentacles in your crown. So it looks like there is uh, a little bit of like, uh, again, uh, with the eight of wands here uh, in your challenge area uh, and actually with the five of cups and the root of your spread, there is a big decision that you're going to have to make. OK, and it may not be easy. Uh, it may be something that's brand new to you, something that you've never had to think about before. But know that you are on this path of something beautiful happening in your life. Uh, you're good. You're good. So whatever it is that you need to let go, let's let it go. Okay. Let's let it go. This is a card of sorrow. You can see him looking or the figure looking at the spilled cups. It's in the root of your spread, but you see the two cups behind the person. You heard that motorcycle too. Okay. And this is a sign. You got to really pay attention to this. You got to look up. You got to let go of the past. All right. You got to let go of the past because something new is coming through. Something new is brewing and is beautiful. So if you have feel like a little frustrated that, that things have not been happening fast enough. Oh, it's, it's happening. It's going to happen. It's coming this week. It's coming. All right. But yeah, this is a card, it's a card of imbalance. Okay. It is a card of imbalance. And uh, it is a little bit uh, like it's again, like the energy that I'm getting is like it's something that you haven't had to think about before it's like maybe it's uh it, it's time you put a little bit of effort into like really really thinking about it okay remember daniel craig and knives out that's uh, how you're gonna feel this week okay well especially with mercury going into scorpio but you're feeling it with the moon in scorpio with mars in scorpio remember all this activity in scorpio is in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships the other thing i want to uh, uh remind you is that pluto is a ruling planet for scorpio however pluto which did go direct last week is in capricorn right now until the end of the year okay and this is a capricorn card okay it's ruled by capricorn and also pluto is in capricorn so that is your ninth house so uh it's it's almost like um 
being wishy-washy on the way that you see things too and maybe like uh there's like a certain way that you saw things that you have to change and it's hard for you to change uh but when i talk about change big change is coming okay aces usher in the most new change all right coming right out of the lovers can i just show you something here you see that dove all right, on top of the shallows there, the univer universal symbol of, of peace and harmony. Remember, there's all that Libra activity, and we've come out of the you know new moon solar eclipse in Libra, solar with all that sun. Um, doves mate for life. Okay, remember, there's all that partnership activity that's happening with y'all. All right, and again, this is career. This is it, it, how it resonates with you, love, but. A lot of y'all, it's going to be love, the L word, all right? Uh, you just got the Empress in your future. And the Empress is ruled by Venus, your ruling planet. And Venus is in Virgo, in your fifth house of love. <laughs> You're good. You're absolutely good, okay? Uh, the Empress, this is... She's Miss Everything, by the way. She's everything. Everybody wants the Empress. Everybody wants the Empress. Uh, this really is living life through pleasure and passion, right? That's what this week is, all that intensity with passion, okay? Uh, but also, it's... Uh, remember I said she's ruled by Venus. You even see the symbol of Venus in this stone-shaped heart right there, okay? Venus in Virgo in your fifth house of pleasure, of passion, okay? Of, uh, you know, uh, sensuality, sexuality, all of that. All of that right here in your future. You're good. She, uh, she holds the golden scepter. She's only one of two people who hold that golden scepter, okay? And all of tarot, all right? And that golden scepter creates all this abundance, this richness in life. That it makes things grow in your life, okay? So there's something new happening. There's something absolutely brand new happening. Because uh, not only did you get the ace, which is all about new, the empress is three, which is all about creation, the birth of new things, okay? Even the fact that, hey, the empress is pregnant, okay? So when I say birth, that's literal for a lot of y'all. Y'all are, some of y'all gonna have some babies. Coming after that ace of cups, coming with the lovers, some of y'all are definitely having some babies, okay? Uh, or you're gonna think about it, or you're gonna want it, or you're gonna want some kids. Uh, but even still, this is just amazing, okay? Taurus, do me a favor. Can you spend some time in nature? I think that you're gonna, and I think you're gonna travel somewhere. Uh, if you do, uh, definitely bring uh, some nature element to it. Like, for instance, like if you're going to, I don't know, uh, Chicago, like go to the beach for like a hot second and just you know immerse yourself in like the nature but that's just the message anyway uh you're good you're 1000 percent good and i'm very excited for you so let's get to your staff taurus taurus you're amazing um if you like this reading by the way it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments i want to know what's going on taurus I love this. I love this for you. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Y'all are amazing. Y'all, I wouldn't be here without you. So I am truly grateful. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you're good, Taurus. You're good to go. You're good to go. 1000%. Look at this. I don't even know what to say, but... Uh, ugh. I got it. I'm going to have to pull some clarifiers because I'm very curious about something. I'm very curious about something here, but um, I. Uh, OK, let's just get started. I'm. Oh, man, there, this is just amazing. Uh, OK, OK, sorry. I'm OK. So you did get the six of swords, right? OK, uh, so, yeah, that's all you want to do is just move forward. Okay, that's all you want to do. So uh, again, 
kind of like that balancing act that came in your crown with the five of cups and the root of your spread. Now the six of swords as the uh, first card coming up in your staff. Remember, these are very opposite. This is someone who has got to leave the past, not let the past dictate his present, not let the past dictate their future, right? This is someone moving forward wanting to move forward okay from any obstacles any challenges that have been holding them back so especially mentally swords are the mental suit okay so uh keep that in mind all right so moving forward if you are here for career by the way a lot of y'all may be getting into a new job it's and that maybe half maybe the decision that you have to make maybe you're thinking about it maybe you're like do i take this new role that was offered to me do i start my own business do i become a freelance writer do i do something a little bit more independent that could be a thing okay uh just to let you know that's that maybe but you're there's something new is you gotta you gotta take action too okay and really uh, man, if, if you know, put your energy toward everything. Now, uh, also, uh, the Six of Swords is ruled by Aquarius. This is actually Mercury in Aquarius is what it's attributed to. All right, and as we know, Aquarius is your tenth house of, of of career. Or maybe you don't know. That's why I'm telling you. But uh, you did get the High Priestess in your external factors area, Taurus. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love the fact that this is happening for you. Uh, the High Priestess is. Wow, you got the Empress and the High Priestess. I just cannot right now. I cannot. Uh, the High Priestess, guardian of the subconscious. In your external factors area, you are completely protected. Okay, you're good. You're good. Go within. Okay, go within. If you need to, uh, if you have like really big questions and only again, because you have the two of pentacles in your crown and you do have the five of cups and the root of your spread. If you have big questions that you have, uh, like need answers to, for, they're inside you. Okay. They're inside you. Just go deep. Okay. Go, go, go to the forest, do some forest. I did some forest bathing. Okay. I did, it's in my Instagram. You can see photos, but that really helps. It really does. You know, just really get out in nature, go within. Okay. You have all the answers within you. Okay. Uh, trust your spirit guides. Just you, you, you're good. You're fine. You're good. Uh, you're, you're amazing. Your intuition is really going to lead the way here. Now you also got the emperor. You're going to be sitting in this throne. You know that, right? Some of y'all are going to become uh, mommies and daddies. You got the empress and the emperor. You, you know that, right? Like, I don't even know what to... With the ace of cups... Um, yeah, so, so you, some of y'all are uh, definitely, I love you. Your reading is going to make me cry. Honestly, it's going to make me cry. But uh, there is a sense of like, you know, uh, being like a role model, being like a leader, like really powering up now, really taking control, really being like, you know, the, the, the provider, right? Uh, I, I just, this is, you're good. You're absolutely good. Uh, there is... Um, it's really like you're just coming into some like power. And like I said, this is a powerful week. And the Emperor is ruled by uh, Aries, um, which if you want to make the very I'm going to make a very complicated thing really easy for you to understand. Hopefully the Emperor is ruled by is attributed to Aries. Aries is ruling planet is Mars. OK, um, Mars is in Scorpio, active all week in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. But Aries, which the North Node moved into Aries um, a couple, you know, in July, your 12th house of your subconscious, which is protected by the High Priestess. <laughs> How'd you like that? Now, let's see. Uh, you got the Seven of Cups in your final outcome. So you really, really, really uh, have to know what you want. Okay. You really have to know. You have to make that decision. Uh, know that you're going to, like, I mean, like, you're good. You're good. Uh, and don't be afraid to go deep. 
don't be afraid to go deep. Uh, but there's, you know, I call this a card of like illusion and delusion because you can see that he's being presented with seven different cups. And, you know, I always say it's better to have opportunities than none at all, right? But this is a card where you really, like, if you take a look at the cups, they're all very different, all right? And so you really, really need to know what you want uh, as you move forward. That's going to make all the difference. So it's almost like not really, like, fantasizing about things in a unrealistic way and I'm not saying that you do or anything like that but just what this card represents um, but yeah it really is just knowing what you want and putting all your energy toward that I am going to clarify it uh, Page of Swords okay uh, yeah once you do you're you're going to be good to go as long as you know what you want you're golden actually like I said this is uh, yeah, like your best weekly reading um I don't know when the last time you had, I mean, this is just bonkers. If you are here for love or if you are here for like new beginnings, uh, something that's going to fulfill you emotionally, <laughs> you have so, I mean, this is just bonkers. Um, I mean, look across your cross here. You have the lovers, you have the lovers, you have the ace of cups and the heart of your spread. You got the empress and you have the high priestess. This is really crazy. Ace is, you know, we're kicking it off with Ace. So you have one, High Priestess is two, the Empress is card three, the Emperor is card four, um, and then, you know, you have the Lovers is card six, but still, I love the fact that you got the High Priestess, the Emperor, and the Emperor. It's, I like, and the Ace of Cups. Like, this is, wow, wow. You know, these are the types of readings that, like, really excite me, too. I'm really excited for you, okay? Just make that decision. It looks like there is uh, going to be a little bit of, like, uh, you're, uh, you're, your life is transforming, okay? And even if, you know, if you want to throw the astrology into it, this is a transformative week with Moon and Scorpio, all right? The first half and then all this activity with Pluto, with Mars and Scorpio right now, with Mercury going into Scorpio. It's all about transformation. That's all about transformation and power, all right? You got that here, but you got the Page of Swords, which is moving forward. Like you being so enthusiastic after you know what you want to just move forward okay and being in that headspace remember i said we have that mercury kazemi yeah, the mercury kazemi light bulb moment moment of clarity shazam okay uh you're good you're good taurus uh thank you so much you're amazing if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments i really want to know what's going on for y'all hey also next week taurus dramatic pause that's right we have that eclipse in your sign so when i say your life is changing oh it's already begun it's already begun and if you saw a couple of my past we readings i've been teasing what's coming for y'all 2024 oh my goodness just buckle your seat belts buckle your seat belts you're you're on a roll taurus i love you y'all are amazing thanks so much for being here i'll see you next week bye bye